Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. If you have ever worked with any deep learning problem or even a classical machine learning problem, getting a proper data itself is a big problem. And that is where data augmentation come into picture. Data augmentation is a kind of a way, a trick to take your existing data, which is less in quantity, and then do something and then make it more. So if you have an image data, maybe let's say now you can crop it and make some extra data or you can rotate it and make some extra data. So this way uh, you can have extra data to train your machine learning algorithm. One, two, adversarial attacks are things, you know, where uh, anybody can challenge a machine learning algorithm's prediction or fool the machine learning algorithm. So now the augmented data could be used to check whether your machine learning model is robust, your deep learning model is robust, or there are any adversarial attacks that could be used against this model. So there are a lot of advantages for data augmentation, but the problem is data augmentation is uh, is like not so standardized. So you can do a lot of data augmentation technique, and there are not of not a lot of good open source solutions where you can also do data augmentation. And thanks to Facebook uh, research, AI research fair, so they have recently released a library called Ogly. So Ogly is a library where you can use for data augmentation for four modalities. So you can you can do data augmentation for text, you can do data augmentation for audio, you can do data augmentation for image computer vision problems, and also you can do data augmentation for video. So for all these four media types, you can do data augmentation. And currently they support over 100 data augmentation techniques, um, which, you know, some of the examples that we would see in the later part of this uh, video. So this video is structured in a way that we are going to quickly go through and understand what Ogly can do. And then we are going to look at a couple of examples, one from image and one from text using the Google Collab Notebook that they've given in um, the documentation. So let's first quickly jump into the um, blog post that they've written. So, Ogly, as the name suggests, uh, is a new data augmentation library to help build more robust AI. So where does it help? Look, you can see, see an example. Let's say you have got an image like this. So there are a couple of things that you can do. So one, you can increase your its brightness or decrease its brightness, change the brightness, blur it, uh, crop it, rotate it, or uh, or even, you know, you can, you can make it like a screenshot and then you can overlay text to it like mean and then you can change the saturation. Now, uh, you can you can read about this research and what they've done with this. So the thing that you have to understand is um, why it matters. Why it matters is because you can see a couple of places where Facebook is already using it. So for example, the deep fake detection challenge. Uh, so uh, Ogly was used there to evaluate the robustness of the deep fake detection models. So like, like the example that I was giving you slightly earlier about adversarial attacks. So yeah, Ogly has been used here uh, to detect check the robustness of the uh, models. Also uh, to train models to detect, um, you know, near duplicates uh, in uh, like Sim Search Net, which is a convolutional neural network based model, which was uh, specifically built to detect near exact duplicates. And uh, it was trained using uh, ugly augmentation. Also at Facebook, another example, where it has been used uh, to exact uh, copies or near duplicates, that's the, the, the one that we saw. Uh, it has been actually used at Facebook itself. So you can you can read more about it in this particular link. And uh, finally, also, you know, as part of Facebook's um, A uh, effort, uh, starting from a meme challenge and uh, the uh, other kind of data that they have got, which is related to shopping assistant. So everywhere, you know, Ogly has been used. Uh, so the point that, uh, that I would like to make here is Ogly is not just, you know, some any random um, Python package, but it has been actually used in Facebook, both for their uh, research effort and also for their, um, you know, uh, the content that they use on Facebook for the models that they use on Facebook. So this is basically good stuff. So that's one thing. The second thing is the Ogly is one library, which means it's going to have a very similar API and you can handle four different type of modality. So uh, for example, you have an image, you want to overlay a text, you can do it. Or maybe you have a text and then you want to change a little bit of, you know, the way uh, punctuations work or the, you know, create typos in it, or uh, you want to replace similar characters, you can do it. So this is, now there's, like, the advantage of scikit-learn for example, in Python ecosystem is that you have one package, but you can do a bunch of things with a very similar API. That's the biggest advantage of scikit-learn for, or for that matter, any framework, right? So then same way, this library helps you do data augmentation for four different modalities, which means you end up using only one library, but you have a lot of options to do different, um, different type of, um, 
in uh, media type so a different type of augmentation so now that is a very quick introduction to ogly and what they've written like a quick summary of what they've written in the blog post now going back to the github repository install your ogly is quite simple thanks to joanna bitten zoe papa kipush so for making this amazing library and making it open source as well for us to get started so installing ogly is quite simple pip install ogly and if you want the latest um, latest development version you can install it from github so you can also do a conda install uh, and uh, then how do how do you want to use it so they have already provided a couple of examples which you can see here so once you go into the example section you would see four examples audio image text video so if you click text it would show you the Jupyter notebook that is uploaded to this GitHub repository. And what I'm going to show you is what you have, you can do. So I have opened the same, same notebook that we just saw on Google Colab. So the thing with Google Colab is after, the first step is you have to install Ogly. Second step is you have to install uh, Python 3 magic. So after you do this thing, after you do install these two, so the next thing you have to do is it's going to ask you to uh, re uh, restart the runtime. So you can either click this button and restart the runtime, which I'm going to do now, or you can go here runtime and then change uh, restart the runtime. So after you install this package, this is essential for you to do. Otherwise, uh, you know, this package wouldn't, this example wouldn't work fine. So restart runtime, click it, yes, yes, please restart it. And you can see that it is getting restarted here. Let me zoom a lot. Okay, now you know that it's been restarted. Now let's import ogly.txt as test ox or whatever the name uh, is. We have just used the example that they've given. So now at the end of this process in the cell, you have given an input text. Now this is where you know you like imagine this is your input um, or existing training data that uh, you want to either uh, check the robustness of the model for or you want to you want to generate more data training data. So now like this text you can you know do a uh, lot of different augmentation one of the augmentation is um, to say simulate typo like there right now there is no typo hello world how are you today but you can simulate typo that's what we are doing here so you can see that it has randomly replaced some letters in it and then you see different um, different type of every time you see something different so hello sort of that you can do that so uh, there is a different way for you to uh, you know also um, do things for example you can have meta information and then based on the meta information you know you can do things so uh, it can you know with you can pass on with the meta information and then add you know like uh, some characters and also the the final example is um, you know if you want to replace similar unicode characters like you have unicode characters you if you want to replace similar unicode characters uh, instead of H, uh, you can replace with similar Unicode characters like how are you today. So this is like with, with meta, if you want to do it without meta, now you can simply take the text and then you can just, just the way we did it here, you can just do it like that, replace Unicode characters and then you can get the output. So the way it works, you can just look at the example and then see it. I just wanted to quick give you a quick overview of how the NLP notebook looks like. So the couple of tasks that we did is we simulated typo, we uh, we replaced similar Unicode characters. Um, so see, uh, like like this crazy crazy things that people write on uh, Twitter. Like you can you can do all those things here. So next, then we are going to look at uh, the um, notebook for uh, image. Here in this case, I've already installed Ogly and then restarted the runtime, so you don't have to be bothered about it. So let's open an image. So let's say this is our input image, ogly.image, image ox, ogly.utils. Um, so image display for uh, displaying the image. So you have a test image and then this is this is our image. So the very first thing that we can do is we can actually, um, we can actually uh, scale the image. So let me even show you before that image so you can see the scaled image the image has been scaled down so if you reduce the factor the image would further you know increase so you, like you can do whatever factor you want like small to so one is scaling is an option so the second thing is let's say you want to get into a meme format right so now you can you know you get into a meme format so if, if your data requires you to 
check meme you can do that like now you have other attributes like change the size or change the color like right now you have uh, black uh, let me make it white i think all memes are usually black white the text you don't see anything because like this. yeah so you can change so this is meme format another data augmentation technique so fine and you have a lot of other options you can try it out finally i wanted to quickly show one final option which is um, which is to say that you can get a screenshot format you can do something like this which will give you a, like a screenshot format like if uh, if you have like an entire phone instagram like you can see stories and then you have a screenshot format so this is one another augmented technique and then you can see the the like you can do a couple of uh, transformations together so another good thing is uh, you it also integrates uh, seamlessly with pytorch uh, transforms so if you want to use it as part of your pytorch um, pipeline so you can still uh, do it and also uh, finally uh, you know there's a numpy wrapper um, if your data is um, an ndra so you you have a numpy numpy wrapper also available so basically this has been designed in such a way that uh, be useful uh, for uh, actual tasks rather than you know having a very nice uh, looking library so if you find this useful please uh, try out the examples i will link the examples in the youtube description as well but you can easily figure it out and if you have any issues please feel free to go raise an issue here and also if you like this video please let me know in the comment section that will be great help so until next video stay safe